Now that you have arranged your regions in the workspace, you can focus on the sound of each instrument and how they sound as an ensemble. You can adjust each instrument's loudness and its position in the stereo field, and even modify its timbre so that all the instruments blend harmoniously. We begin by opening the mixer, so pressing X on our keyboard, and of course we can resize the mixer if we need to. So I'm going to resize, resize the mixer. And the first thing we can do, if we wish to, is to double click on the name here and rename regions. As we so wish, and you'll see that update in the track header as well. And as I mentioned earlier, we can use these faders to make things louder and quieter. And we can also use the pan function to pan between the left and right stereo image. Just to point out that this icon here denotes a stereo file or a stereo input. And this one here denotes mono. So once I've gone through and I've named them, I can also add icons. So you can see there's an icon here. There's a default sort of waveform icon. But if I, um, if I, sorry, control click on it in the tracks area, I can then start to add different icons. So for bass, I might want to click bass and choose a picture of a bass. It just makes it easier to see and to navigate the project. Back to the mixer now. If I wanted to make the faders a little wider, I can do that over here. We have a narrow view and a wide view, which can help to visualize the mix. And I should point out here This here denotes where the fader is. And this little window here denotes how loud the, 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 the peak point, the last, the loudest point is. So we want to avoid being all the way up there. We really want it to sort of peak around about here, minus 12. Make mixing much easier for us. So this is the pan knob, the volume knob, and the uh, we can see here the peak level and the, the volume of the fader. There's much more to mix in than adjusting each instrument's volume and stereo position. We can also apply effects plugins to process the audio and thereby changing the tone of each of the instruments. By way of demonstration, we'll take the bass and we'll go to the audio effects window on that track channel. So I've highlighted it so you can see it. Audio effects, click, and you'll see all of your audio effects. I've got some third party ones here as well. So some additional ones are showing up. But if I go to amps and pedals and go to bass amp designer and choose stereo, uh, sorry, mono, because I changed it tomorrow, yours might actually be in stereo. Yes, stereo or dual mono. Let's go stereo. So I've now applied the bass amp designer to my bass. I can bypass it, so turn it off and turn it on again. And you'll see that, that you can do that here as well on the channel strip. You can turn it off and on again. And on the plugin itself, you'll see that you've got a number of functions. We've got um, an amplifier with an EQ, so we can modify the tone. And we've also got tone controls here, bass, mid, treble. We've got some compression. We've got some gain. We've got a master a fader as well. But we've also got different models of amps that we can use. That looks like an Ampeg. Yep. We've got different cabinets that we can use. And we've also got different microphones we can use. So we can modify all elements of that and apply it to our bass. I'm 
gonna go and loop. So select U to loop. And you can hear how that starts to change the sound of the bass. I should point out that there's a solo function so that you can listen to each track in isolation and you can also mute them as well. You can also swipe to solo or mute. And you can do that in the mixer as well. It's quite common to add reverb as well. So let's add some reverb to our uh, barricade uh, sample. So I've selected it here in the track header. And if I go to the mixer, I'll see that that's also highlighted in the mixer. Back to audio effects. And rather than go to Bass Amp Designer, you'll notice because Bass Amp Designer was my last plugin that I chose, it's also now my most recent, and it's at the top of my most recent list. And if I go down to Reverb, and let's choose Space Designer, Stereo Space Designer, and let's, this time, we'll go to the factory default. We click in the factory default, and we see all of our factory default settings in there. And we'll choose medium spaces, rooms, and let's go for piano warmth. So this has now applied a reverb to that.